left Fleetwood, the home of the ice factory and Fisherman's Friends, to South Shore and the home of, um, well, Tracy. So Tracy, thanks very much for having us. And we're going around doing a little bit of a tour to look at how people have found things during the lockdown and the pandemic. And I'd be particularly interested from your perspective to hear some of the joys and some of the griefs of how you find worship at this time. During the pandemic, during the lockdown, I chose not to celebrate the Eucharist, to wait so until people, parishioners, could receive the bread and wine at the same time. So it was wonderful at the end of lockdown to be able to celebrate the Eucharist, to come back together, and we opened our doors as soon as possible in a COVID-safe environment. We're all too aware, though, that we couldn't have the wonderful organ playing or the choirs singing with the congregation. Um, people couldn't receive the bread and wine at the altar rail. So worship since then has been different, but I found uh, um, a deeper sense of holiness, if you like, in the simplicity of the stripped down liturgy. In a way, we've stripped back the liturgy and stripped back ourselves to simply be in God's presence and perhaps to discover Christ afresh. From what you've learned, is there anything that you would do differently going forward? Um, I think um, we're all too aware that there are people who are still shielding at home and so we've enhanced our um, worship by sending out weekly newsletters and suggested readings for Sundays and through the week so that those people who are housebound and can no longer get to church for many reasons are able to join with the Christian community. Not many of our people are um, into technology so going online wouldn't necessarily help them but by keeping in touch by the post and praying over the phone we found new ways to be church and to support one another. That's really great. Thank, thank you so much for having us and actually I think it's a really perfect place to end today in talking about Christ's presence and that's not to start an argument about what actually happens during the Eucharist although I enjoy that as much as the next ordained person but because today We've seen that in practice and we've seen Christ being made present in three very different communities with something quite similar, similar threads working through them. And where we've seen that happen, we've seen it bring joy and unity and um, enjoyment and all of those wonderful things um, that we expect when Christ is present, including challenge. Mm -hmm.